I'm here with the cats. Here's Stella. Here's Boo. Here's Simba. And there's Splash. And it is story time. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Today we are reading Miss Olive Finds Her Forever Friends. This is written by Susan Marie and Miss Olive, illustrated by Kim Ranson and Rebecca Phillips. I had read the previous book about Miss Olive. It was very enjoyable. The cats loved it. So this is the new book and now we're going to read this one. This says, there once was a sad little pup. She was lonely without a home without a name or a family to call her very own. And this looks like a fairy godmother dog. And there's Miss Olive in the heart. Now she is happy. Her name it has been chosen. Miss Olive lives with her forever family in her very own forever home. And there's Miss Olive with her family. Each day is so joyful for the little pup with lots of love and yummy treats that fill her heart and tummy up. Miss Olive's dreams have all come true. She has a loving family with a mommy, daddy, and sisters too. And there's Miss Olive with her mommy, daddy, and her sisters. Early one morning, as Miss Olive snuggled in her comfy bed, her mommy knelt before her and said, Today is a special day, my little one. It's your very own birthday. Then she kissed Miss Olive lovingly on her head. Her mommy spoke gently to the sleepy little pup. It's your special day, Miss Olive. It's time for my sweet little girl to get up. Stella says she is enjoying this book very much so far. And Boo says he's very interested to see what's going to happen next. And Simba says he's very happy to have his own nice forever home. Dressed in her pink fuzzy jammies, Miss Olive hopped out of her bed and barked, Mommy, what is a birthday? And her mommy said, It's the special day that you were born, a day we will celebrate with you each year. Miss Olive barked out with glee, We will celebrate a special day each year that's just for me. Her mommy laughed and said, yes, my sweet little one. Now let's go get some yummy treats and special birthday toys chosen just for you. And there's Miss Olive. And Stella's taking a bath because she wants to look good for the birthday party. Okay, Stella. The pup was so happy she kissed her mommy on her cheek and barked, can I please have my own special day and a special week? Her mommy laughed again and said, come, let's celebrate. And there's Miss Olive with her mommy, and look at all the presents and the balloons. Miss Olive rode with her mommy, safely harnessed in the car as they drove to get her birthday treats. They had to travel far. And there's Miss Olive in the car. Look at what it says on the car. It says, we love dogs. Then, as she looked out the window, what did Miss Olive see? A group of playful pups in a park. She barked, Mommy, are these pups all here to celebrate with me? Miss Olive's mommy parked the car and turned to her to say, Would you like to visit the dog park on your very special day? And there's the dog park. Look at all of the dogs in the dog park. Miss Olive smiled and barked out with glee. I would like to play with all the pups, my new forever friends. Woof, woof, yippee. As Miss Olive walked into the dog park, some pups came up to play. She was so very happy and barked out to the pups. See all the pups? You must be here to celebrate my birthday with me, my very special day. Look at all those dogs. Oh, look. Look at this. There's a cat. Check it out. It's a Siamese cat on the fence. Two of the pups, with their noses in the air, came up to Miss Olive and barked out, You are not so special. This is no special day. We are not here to celebrate. We don't even care. Oh my gosh, what rude dogs. Then they turned their backs and fluffed their poofy, doggy hair. Look at those dogs. Don't they have an attitude? 
Boo says, why do those dogs have attitudes? They should be nice, right, Boo? Stella's still bathing and Splash is listening from a distance. Just then, a brave pup walked up and barked at the grumpy pair. You may not have a special day, one that's just for you, but we are Miss Olive's forever friends and want to celebrate with her too. See the brave pups? We are happy that Miss Olive has a birthday of her own, a special day for a special pup. We should all celebrate and woof it up. See? Look at all those pups. Then Miss Olive's mommy said, your daddy and sisters just drove up with your special birthday treats for you and all the pups. Look at that. They're celebrating Miss Olive's birthday. Miss Olive walked over to her new forever friends, even the two who were very, very mean and barked out so all the pups could hear. There's all the pups. And look, look what I see in the back. What is this? Look, it's a black cat. What's that black cat? Oh, and look, look, there's a cat on the tree. Look at that. There's two cats hanging out with all those dogs. That kind of looks like Boo, doesn't it? Today is my special day. Will you please celebrate my birthday with me? Joyfully, Miss Olive's new forever friends all barked out with glee. It's a doggy birthday party. Look at the trees in the background. It must be in the autumn, right? The trees are all different colors. Happy birthday, Miss Olive. Woof, woof, yippee. And there's all the dogs in their party hats. Look at the cake. Happy birthday, Miss Olive. And look, best grandma in the world. That's Miss Olive's grandma. And there's puppy treats and birthday treats. Look at this. Look at the cat in the tree. Look at that. It looks like Stella. Stella, is that you in the tree? Look at that. Stella says, yeah, that's her in the tree. The end. And there's Sophia, the doggy diva. And this is what it says. It says, the doggy diva diaries presents Miss Olive. The real Miss Olive is a tiny rescue pup who was adopted from the Italian Greyhound Rescue Gulf Coast into her loving forever home in... 2015. Miss Olive was a victim of neglect and health issues and lost one of her legs to cancer, as well as her teeth because of a lack of medical care. The neglect and illnesses she endured have never affected her loving, sweet, and gentle spirit. Miss Olive joins her mommy, Susan Marie, at the microphone each week as the co-host of the Doggy Diva Show airing on Pet Life Radio. Along Florida's sunny Gulf Coast, the name Miss Olive is synonymous with uniting homeless pets with their loving forever families. Her award-winning story, Miss Olive Finds Her Forever Home, is the first book in the Doggy Diva Diaries trilogy about Miss Olive and her possum life-changing adventures. Boo says that's really nice and he was rescued with some issues also, right Boo? Yeah, Boo's missing a few teeth. And Boo was all messed up when he came to the back door looking for help. Right, Boo? Susan Marie. Since 2003, when the Doggy Diva Show aired its first broadcast, Susan Marie and her canine co-hosts, the Doggy Divas, have been committed to sharing important health and lifestyle information for pets and pet parents. With help from pet professionals, authors, and national industry experts, the show is inspired by and continues to honor its original mascot, Sophia the Doggy Diva, who captured the hearts of listeners, becoming the voice of the voiceless for homeless animals everywhere. Since 2007, Susan and her divas have penned the bi-monthly editorial column, Diva Delights, which promotes animal adoption, fostering, and paying it forward. Susan Marie is the author of Miss Olive Finds Her Forever Home, which was awarded the 2019 Bronze Moonbeam Children's Book Award and the Dog Writers Association of America's Maxwell Medallion for the 2018 Children's Book of the Year. Susan Marie is a member of the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, the Dog Writers Association of America, and the Florida Writers Association. A passionate champion of animals, Susan Marie donates a portion of the proceeds from the Doggy Diva Diary series to animal rescue organizations and hopes to pass along her love of animals to future generations. Sophia the Doggy Diva. The fairy tale began 
years ago with a small dog named Sophia. Like Miss Olive, Sophia was a rescue dog who lived her early life in neglect, fear, and sadness and dreamed of finding unconditional love. Her dream came true when she was adopted into her loving forever home in 2001. Despite her sad start in life, Sophia was destined to help others by becoming the voice of the voiceless, advocating for homeless pets awaiting forever families of their own. In 2003, she became the co-host of The Doggy Diva Show, and in 2007, she co-wrote Diva Delights, a bi-monthly magazine column. These multimedia platforms allowed Sophia to share her powerful message of paying it forward to homeless animals. After her passing in 2013, Sophia was honored by her beloved animal community, which came together to celebrate her her life even naming a star after her and that's very nice isn't it and this book is available on amazon and i will put a link to this book in the description below this video so you can check it out and buy a copy stella says she really enjoyed the book she loved it boo did you like the book boo says yes it was a very good book he really enjoyed it simba did you like the book simba says he really enjoyed the book he likes it when animals get help and when they get good homes, right? Right. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.